The plumbing sector is filled to the brim with career opportunities, most of which revolve around the central idea of installing and fixing piping systems in a variety of different environments. But what type of plumbing categories exist at the moment, and which one is the perfect fit for you? Well, if you're looking for a new career path, you've come to the right place as we're about to explore the different specialties and what they involve. First up on our list is the residential plumber, who very much fits the mold of what the majority of people think of plumbing professionals. Rather than working on high-rise buildings in a commercial setting, these plumbers go from home to home installing, maintaining, and repairing plumbing systems, according to the reports of the homeowners who requested them. In other words, these are the men and women who are called in whenever you have a problem in the home. As such, the job often requires quite a bit of traveling and can present a few opportunities as far as overtime goes. Remember, plumbing fixes are often regarded as urgent by nature, especially when you're dealing with something as damning as a burst pipe. The constant traveling is also something that the majority of these plumbers love, with their work environment being one that is forever changing. Essentially, this is where plumbing professionals often begin their journey into the plumbing sector. The duties that are within their grasp are of general nature, after all, and can range from the fixing of a broken pipe to the installation of a new efficient toilet. But either way, these plumbers often gain their experience and expertise by working under a more experienced plumber during their apprenticeship. And it's only after they've gained the requisite experience that they can be able to go off on their own and work independently of one another. Number two, commercial plumber. Next up is the commercial plumber, who is in many respects quite similar to the residential plumber we just discussed. The only real difference is that these plumbing professionals work within the commercial setting and as such have to deal with plumbing systems that are a lot more complicated in nature. How are these systems more complicated though? Well, as it turns out, quite a few companies find themselves in high-rise buildings or large-scale business parks. And when you have a number of floors which each have their own intertwining plumbing systems begging to different ventures, things can get a tad confusing. But that's not all. Commercial plumbers are also often called when it comes to the installation of new piping systems altogether at building sites across the globe. This means that plumbers from this specialization need to know as much as possible about the various building codes and regulations that are applicable to the regions they're working in. Just one mistake in the entire job can be a complete disaster. This is why commercial plumbers could find themselves performing the same duties as residential plumbers, but taking a lot longer to complete these jobs due to the complicated nature of the environment they find themselves in. And as you can imagine, this means a lot less traveling at the end of the day. Number three, service and repair maintenance plumber. Then we have the service and repair plumber who can be said to exist between the categories of residential and commercial due to the fact that these men and women work in either setting. More often than not, they're called in to perform within a commercial setting, but homeowners who are looking to sell also frequently find themselves communicating with these professionals in an attempt to obtain a solid plumbing certificate. They're also known as maintenance plumbers, which we suppose does the best job of defining what they actually do. For those of you who don't know, these plumbers ensure that everything is on the up and up with various plumbing systems. As such, their work is more preventative than anything else and involves the searching for problems where none might exist and where a small problem is discovered along the way. These plumbers often have the ability to get rid of that problem themselves. In other words, you wouldn't call a maintenance plumber to install a new geyser in your home, but you would call that same plumber to check out your plumbing system and give you advice on your geyser you'll need to be replaced. All in all, this may prevent you from suffering the fate of a burst geyser somewhere down the line. In other words, these plumbers are really the unsung heroes of the profession and are supplied with a steady flow of work considering just how many businesses require constant checks to stay up to code. Number four, sanitary plumber. A further specialization is that of a sanitary plumber who, as the name suggests, deals with all installations and problems that may arise from the sanitary piping system of a home or a business. And since this is where the majority of piping exists, it goes without saying that these plumbers are the most commonly called professionals in the industry. And while a general residential or commercial plumber will be well within his rights to attend these calls, it's the sanitary plumber who's the best equipped to give the home or business owner what he wants. You see, experience means everything when it comes to plumbing, and since sanitary plumbers have dedicated their lives to the running and fixing of sanitary systems, 
times, they're able to charge a lot more for work done at the end of the day. That being said, there is a far bigger duty of care placed upon a professional such as this, who's always expected to know what's going on at any given time. More often than not, the duties of a sanitary plumber involve the unclogging of pipes, the installation of basins or toilets, and the fitting of suspended drains. This isn't exactly the role for someone with a weak stomach, though, as sewage features prominently when it comes to the task these plumber professionals often have to complete. Number five, water supply plumber. Last but not least, we have the water supply plumber, who often specializes in working with water supply systems ranging from kitchen tanks to overhead storage tanks. It's not something we commonly think of when it comes to the plumbing profession, as these tanks are often hidden from the view of home or business owners. But without getting too caught up in the importance of these water supply systems, it goes without saying that they are necessary to provide a household or business with water. Without them, a plumbing system simply cannot run. So when it comes to the plumbers who specialize specialize in water supply systems, their duties often involve the installation of tanks in bathrooms, kitchens, and laundry rooms. Pretty much anywhere where a vast amount of water is needed at one time or another. But that's not all, since the installation of new water supply systems doesn't need to take place as much as other duties already mentioned. Water supply plumbers also find themselves performing basic plumbing tasks such as the unclogging of sinks and bathroom drains. This makes sense considering how the installation of a new water supply system is often only requested when the old system has caused some damage because of its age. That is, unless a maintenance plumber has gotten there beforehand and called for its replacement. So which specialization is for you then? As you can tell, there is really no plumbing specialization which reigns above all others, and as such, it can be pretty difficult to choose where you want to spend the majority of your time. If an ever-changing working environment is your thing, then residential plumbing is for you. That being said, commercial plumbers are often paid a lot more for the same job due to the complicated nature of the plumbing systems before them. But if you care more about experience, specializations like sanitary and water supply plumbing would be more of your speed and allows you to become familiar with the jobs required to make a bathroom tick. Either way, depends on what you want as a plumber. And remember, if you're a plumber running your own business or just want to start and grow your own plumbing business, you must learn the four critical things plumbing business owners wish they had learned before starting a plumbing business so you don't make the same mistakes. Plumber Accelerator has put together a free training video you can watch right now that will show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your plumbing business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work and free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have a sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you'll also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area, without relying on the word of mouth of referrals, how to stop competing on price with other plumbers and escape your competition, how to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales, and how to command premium prices and attract high quality quality customers that will be happy to pay more. Make sure to click the link in the description let us know what you thought about the different types of specializations in the comments section down below.